Hey everybody, what's up? It is Crypt, and it is night time. Should have planned that out better. Hold on. So basically, today is a tutorial. I know that there's not many of those. Ah, oh, come on. There's not many of those. And this is a tutorial on a level selector for an elevator, something like that, maybe, or that. I'll probably do elevators in those. But basically, you press a button. And it deselects all the other levels and selects the button that you press. So if I pressed that one, it would select that and deselect that. And they would do that for any of the buttons that I pressed. So hopefully it won't let me sleep yet. And this is basically what it looks like. This part is optional with all the torches. That's completely optional. Come on! It's gone. It's completely optional. Oh, wow. I feel not optional. Optional. <laughs> there we go. I did it. I can speak, guys. I'm cool. Okay. So now I'm going to show you how to build it. Um, first, mark out your frame. And I'm. this is tileable, so I'm going to show you only the two tiles. And then you can... You know, the two sections and you can stick them together. So mark out your frame and also mark out where your buttons are going to be. And go ahead and place your buttons like this. And then you for the levels, level 1, level 2. Okay. So on the back of here, here are your buttons in this block, and we're going to immediately put in your reset button. So that's going to be, whenever you press a button, that turns on activates these repeaters, which activate at the same time, which pretty much resets it. And then dig one down. Place a one tick delay repeater in each of those slots, and redstone torches right here. Now that you've done that, place blocks there and blocks stop above the torches. On these, remember there's the repeaters down here. Place one tick delay repeaters also. And then the torches appear to optional, so we'll get to that in a minute. Place blocks directly in front of the two repeaters, and on one of them you want a redstone dust, and the other one you want a repeater. And the reason for that is that you can't have both of these like this because then whenever you dug down your redstone lines would cross. So what you have to do is you have to make one redstone and one repeater. And you can't have two repeaters because then even though this is giving getting power, it's not turning that torch off. So it needs to be like this. Now this one you're pretty much good to go. But on this one it's a little bit more complicated. You put a block right in front of it and put down your torch. Place a redstone dust there, and then dig out those four blocks. And the one directly under the repeater, you're going to place a redstone dust, and then diagonally from that, also there. This torch has this dust, so it's going to get powered by this dust is getting powered by this. So, place a repeater here, two tick to the light repeater, and then same there. And there you go, you have your very own display. So that means this one's getting selected, but they're inverted. So that's why if you want to add the optional part, you put two torches right here, two blocks above those, and then make yourself a little floor right here. And then just connect all those up with one tick delay repeaters, or if you really want, you can have it four ticks, but that just means that it's going to take longer. Look at the signal, and I'll show you to get here. So now if I s selected this one, it just takes longer. And then if I do that, it's pretty quick. So there you go. And just remember, you want have you want you want these to alternate. So on your next one, it would look like this. And on the one after that, it would look like that. 
So you just want to alternate that. A uh, pretty quick video, but it was pretty simple. It's a pretty simple thing. And so, thing next, this elevator is my first one. It's not really that compact. It's kind of big. Um, here, we'll go ahead and select level two. See, I have that. Press the button, get in pretty quick, and it shoots you out right here. If you calm it down, it'll take a minute because it's a very, very tall elevator. And then you hop in, pitch it out. Well, it's selectable. Three, get in. It's going to take you all the way up to level three, which is the top level. And then we'll take yourself down. Now, the only thing that I have to work on for this is here, I'll show you real quick since I'm here. Let's select level two. Let's call it. What I want it to do, instead of it spitting you out and keep going, I want it to stop right here. But that presents a problem. Because you can't cut it off anymore. So that's why on this one, you can cut it off. And this, here we go. Let's call it first. There it comes. That's a graphical glitch. So level two. So see, it stops here for us. But if I'm wanting to go up, it won't go up. It stays right there. So I have to call it. Whoops. Oh, dang. And I have to take it down and then select level three to go all the way up to the top. So. What I need to do is I, make, I need to make a pretty much a universal on this nor latch, you know. And then it, so instead of having all this here, what I'm probably gonna have to do is just have the buttons and these. Put the artist nor latch up here, and have it run down to here, run over to here, and run up to here. So you can select from up here, you can select level two, and you can select level one from here. So that is how you make this. I hope you enjoy. This does go on my, up on Minecraft.net. Um, please check out my channel. Feel free to check out my channel. It is CryptKiller1043. C R Y P T K I L L E R 1043. And I don't know if they're going to have it, um, what's it called, the link in the description, but maybe they will. Maybe they won't. If not, just look me up. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, favorite, all that jazz, and have a great day.